Uh, let's look at uh, the allocation. In PF, uh, PF government allocated 1.5 million. 1.6. 1.6 million to uh, constituents as a constituent development funds. In uh, UPND New Dawn government, we had uh, 25.7 <coughs> now increased. Is it to 29, 28? Something, yes. So on that one, would you give credit to the New Dawn government for the that allocation? Okay. First, I want to say it is a good markup. Like I said, there are two sides to a coin. And this is where my concern is. Okay? Yes, there's community participation. But there is more that needs to be done by government. Like I said, with community projects, you're asking me, it's 14 million, isn't it? Back home, for only 14 million. Munenje wokuweba tu wamia mensho nse muno mkarulushi na kuchambeshi. Muni 14 million munenje bati ba constituency development steady time isebo. Muni constituency development fund I'm sure muno mfaku parliament ngatu waipush. Ba ba minister batu wokuweba ti use the CDF. Muni CDF ina munenje wokuweba ti kakuri ama boho. Muni CDF ina munenje wokuweba ti vika mwama maternity wing. Surely in 14 million. How am I going to manage that? As big as the money will sound, but is it effective? Previously, with the 1.6 million, I just used to worry about the small nitty gritty things. Okay? The issues like uh, uh, clinics, uh, hospitals, even across the country, the development that we see were done by central government or through loans. Okay? So now we have a challenge in this constituency. I have a challenge because I'm a resident here. I want the roads done. But can you explain to me how from the 14 million I'm going to have the roads done? Okay? So we can look at the amount here. And this is a complaint of almost every member of parliament. But is the 25 million in a year adequate to develop a district? That is a question I pose to you. Is the 25 million adequate to empower all the cooperatives or even some of the cooperatives? We have a challenge even in terms of the cooperatives. The maximum we should give is 100, isn't it? No, it's uh, 44 for grants. 44 grants. Uh, loans is 100, 200. 200. Yeah. 200. Now, Mwasanga Konfwa, Aba Chitia apply, buddy, 40. I'm a loan in PI, Mwasanga, 1.10. About 3 million. So three million nara pela bantu, nara pela bantu aba no no, ngana pela bantu aba no no. Ukwe ba ti tuwa chite boost ama ama wate ama businesses. Aba chite apply ba di ten thousand. So listeners who come here and say no, the honourable member of parliament is hiding the CDF. Me I applied for the loan and the minister announced that the money is there. So at what point do I help them when it's limited? when it's limited so this is what i want to put across that we are here to do everything possible but we have limited resource limited resources limited resources is what is a challenge this money can seem to be a lot but the areas you are telling to us to tackle are huge they require huge amounts of money mm -hmm. okay so to a money to see Mwamona, Bye bye, 26 million, 28 million, whatever. Look at the cost of doing business itself. Look at the cost of infrastructure. So, is this 28 or 29 million sent at once in coffers, or how is it sent? It is not even sent at once in coffers, it's sent in intervals. Maybe even the time they'll tell you they'll send it, it doesn't come at that particular time. Okay? Like this year alone, we have not received the... I stand to be corrected, anything. Even, even for the loans, we have not received. Even for the loans, we have not received. The loans, we were doing it when? Beginning of the year, isn't it? Last uh, year. Towards the end of the year. Towards the, the, towards the, the end the, of the year. The president has been saying <coughs> he has given the money to the constituencies. And uh, you MPs, you are sitting and you are not um, encouraging people to apply and get the monies. So if the money is seated, that's why the good thing about uh, uh, public offices is that every Tom, Dick, and Harry can inquire. 
The council is just a thrown to away from here. Go and ask them if any CDF money has hit the council account. That is why I'm saying consultative meetings should be there. Mukapata na waka ele. Mukapata pata town clerk. Mukapata mayor. Atirimbia wikele. Pukansi takudi. This whole year we have not received not a single uh, 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 coin. The people applied for loans. We did, a long time ago we did our adjudication, isn't it? And we said, but how are we going to disperse these loans when the money is not there? So Mwalala and Okwe, but ah, ine kwena, ni mpapa sana wa CDF. Last year, o tuwale tuwale fpepa. But bafi no kutu pele ndagam. These are public offices where you and me have the right to inquire. And if you feel by a pina beka la pandela, and who be me never mean to buy a second of the cocoa be but oh, by a pina beka la pandela, but if you go to pay because he knows for a fact that by a pi, take me a pandela because she doesn't have even an ounce of that responsibility of disbursement of the money. All right, honorable mean, uh, MP, you, you've, you've served now in uh, two different uh, uh, governments that's the PF as well as the New Dawn, the UPND government. How do you see the political will for the New Dawn government in terms of uh, 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 developing Karolushi infrastructure as well as the economic development? You yourself are a resident here. You yourself, you are Zambian. And this change, all of us cannot even say, what do you see? You feel it. The back of Millibu is at 2.30. There's a shortage. You got your fertilizer even as early as uh, this year. You were getting your fertilizer as early as June in the PF. There has, no, there has not been any meaningful development done in the last one year, seven months. Apart from the usual. So when you ask me, what do you mean when you look at policy or economic uh, 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 driving? First and foremost, dear colleagues, institutional memory is very, very important. Any successful government will make thorough consultations. I can be opposition, but I could be privileged to information that you are not privileged to. So this is why I'm saying the issue of politicking should be set aside. If we are going to develop Kalulush, mind you as district commissioner, I've been in this constituency, I was privileged to serve three ministries. I know how government operates. So if you come and consult me, it doesn't mean I'm telling you that come and join PF. We are looking for one common goal mm -hmm. to save our people and the people of Zambia at large. So ngamwala chita sideline wa opposition at only wa opposition to allow them. Hema challenges are any to Hema challenges to kwata. Baganda chi ukulanda kwa dianguka. So, in interview, I tell you, what is the difference? Abamuli, we still have one or two feet. We have another one inch of difference. We have a piece of nine. No, we pass your money. Then I have a difference. Come here, look. Come here, come here, look. Chat. We have a piece of paper. Can I fetch the lines again? Even as early as this morning, I had a huge challenge. Huge challenge. Women came as far as to I take a massacre crying. But when the butchers didn't come for the fetch the lines. They used to get fertilizer in June. They used to get fertilizer in, in June. Social cash transfer, emergency cash transfer, DMMU, <coughs> to come on time. So when you ask me at what is the difference, even you by interviewer, but yeah, difference here, and I'm going to move away. And when you push, you push the Akumun to own say, when will you let him on a shot? Push up on the wall, I'm up on 19 euro, do that. Push a few, I'm up on 17 quarter, euro 29 quarter. All right. So, uh, difference, uh, whether the more I go, MP, uh, before we, we move further, um, infrastructure development in Kalush. You've been an MP for two terms now. Yes. And uh, as we are speaking, people are looking at uh, uh, Kalush having at least a shopping mall. What can CDF or is there any plans as an MP you can uh, try to uh, probably share with the community on the issues of uh, the, 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 the malls and uh, things like that instead of people going into a uh, kit to go and uh, buy you know, <coughs> and iron and something? It is the hope of every leader to bring services to its people. Okay? When you look at ShopRite and Pick and Pay, and this is what I want people to understand, 
this is not a government entity where in a will sanction that my ministry of community development case these are private entities private businessmen doing business okay we have tried at many levels even as early as this morning ask the councillors we are trying to bring in somebody who can bring in a shopping mall and build the challenge that has been here is the proximity to Kitwe, okay and the number of people who are working you see when you are doing a business people do a survey so when they did the survey, they looked at the people. It's the same thing with the bank. We went to Lusaka with the then mayor at the DC at that time when APSA was here. They looked and they showed me a paper and said, do you know how many people in the whole of Kalulushi that bank with APSA? 50. 50. We went on to announce through the then DC's office, can you start banking with APSA so that we get more clients? Alas, nobody came, but people wanted a bank. <coughs> so is APSA a government entity? It's looking at the cost of doing business. Is it effective? Even you, if you were a business person. Most of the people that live here work from outside. That is a fact. So sometimes when you seven months. They are these are private entities. It is my hope that one day I could even take my dear Douglas, Tia Papa what a joy that me driving for Hungry Lion all the way in Kitwe. Mm. And we are working extremely, extremely hard through the various offices that a more be established. Mm. But these are business entities, okay? Mm. And now making it worse with the fluctuation, the instability of the dollar. These are things that we need to talk about. Mm. Because outside when the MP is not there, it's the MP by MP. These are facts. Mm. Even you, if you were doing business, these are some of the factors that you would want to look at. Even as early as this morning, to Achuoko, 